when you come back home, you are like a newborn baby. Mm. So you, um, you will be quitting showbiz? Yes, actually I, I have quit. It's been like eight months since my last um, appearance on TV. Mm. So how was the feeling, you, you mentioned a while ago, uh, your feeling when you were in Mecca. Did you expect that feeling before you arrived in Saudi Arabia? <coughs> or you have a different you know, feeling I, when you are inside? I think um, everyone, every Muslim feels that when you, first time you step in Haram, and you see the Kaaba, oh my gosh, Haram, la ilaha illallah, la wakbar. So, a feeling that I cannot express, but you cannot, you know, there's this urge that makes you want to cry. I don't know. And it, I think it's the feeling, wow, I'm so close to Allah. And I felt so, you know, I'm such a sinful person. And yet, Allah invited me to his house. I'm so close to him. And you know, I felt so lucky because so many people um, save up so much um, money to be there and they sleep in the masjid and they don't have no place to stay just to perform Hajj Allah Akbar and you see that their level of Iman Allah Akbar they'd sacrifice everything just to perform Hajj and I felt so lucky because I got a good accommodation and I didn't need to save up money Allah Akbar um, What can you say about the people out there um, about Islam? You know, Islam is really a religion of, of peace. And I really got to performing Hajj also made me realize that. Because people come together helping each other from different countries, different races just to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm just so happy to be a Muslim Alhamdulillah if, if your dad is here right now what would you tell him? I just want to thank my father for giving me the opportunity to perform Hajj and that I love him so much and, and, I'm, and that I'm happy because without my father I wouldn't have been a Muslim. What would be your plan after that? Um, I want to go back to college and finish my studies and inshallah uh, I will uh, also study Islamic studies mm -hmm. inshallah in the future so and learn more Asia. about Islam. You can say that you can live in the showbiz. I want to live my life according to the Sunnah of the Prophet. According to Islam, I want to live my life the Islamic way. You know, you know. And you know, I hope, because I hope that people from the youth and people from my age will get to experience how, or perform Hajj at this age because you know so many perform Hajj at an old age and if you have an opportunity at your youth to perform Hajj please go you should perform Hajj is there any responsibility that you think you already have right now after Hajj going back to the Philippines responsibility yeah the sense of responsibility like propagation of Islam or something um, Right now, I, I want to inspire the youth. Um, but in doing that, I have to gain more knowledge. Inshallah, I will um, um, get to study more about Islam and make da'wah, inshallah. You, you know, Queenie, the way you, you talk about Islam right now, the way you, you, you tell us briefly your stories, your experiences in Mecca, you. You, there's a lot of inspirations, you, you injected inspirations about Islam in these four walls or people's going to see this 
video. What else can you tell them about Islam? Um, when you Islam is a way of life and when you become a Muslim you start to know what your purpose really is and your purpose in this world is just to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's it and you know before um, you know I see a lot of kids my age they are so pressured with everything from school life, from, um, you know, people, there are a lot of bullies now in school and, and, and feeling pressure from different groups of people and, you know, the things that teenagers experience nowadays. And a lot of them commit suicide, a lot of them, you know, have miserable lives because they don't know the purpose of their life. And I wish everyone could, you know, Islam just changes you, changes you as a person into a good person, and I don't know what to explain. Thank you, Queen.